really excited to be showcasing a Sustainable Futures game at COP26, which we've been playing with students at Cranfield School of Management for the past three years, with over 600 students taking part so far. The experience for people playing the game is that it's relatively mind-blowing and quite, quite complex. But that's deliberately so because the challenges that we face in really trying to transform towards sustainability are complex and mind-blowing at times. What did prompt me is like I've got three granddaughters and in 2050 what's going to happen to them and it's prompted me to think a bit more about that and talk to my sons and about that sort of thing but that did, that was quite, ooh, quite emotional, quite evocative for that, you know, 2050 and three grandchildren, they'll be there. This game encourages people to think 20, 30 years into the future and think about the radical changes that will have to happen along that time horizon. I thought that it was very interesting that it looked beyond getting to carbon net zero um, and the impacts afterwards once you'd reached that of what would happen to society. It also allows players to think about business not as existing in a vacuum but being very much part of a broader system, incorporating other actors in society including policy makers, civil society organisations and citizens themselves, voters, consumers. What will you change? Well, just try and change carbon emissions. We hope that through playing this game, people will be encouraged and optimistic about the fact that they can have influence and help drive change, whether they are sitting within a business, as a, as a leader in a business or an employee, or in other aspects of their life. I think I will firstly just do a bit more research and a bit more thinking and just it has told me that I can have a bigger influence than I ever thought I could, especially with my beliefs and how that can change the whole future. And I think that we can actually be agents for change with the decisions that we make. We're all agents, we're not looking at other people to be that, it's the decisions we all make every day.